Welcome to Good Mythical More. Can we read bad press of movies? Pay no attention. And then guess the movie that it's from? Can you? <laughs> Let's find out. But first, can we check our voicemail? Yes. Hey, uh, Rhett and Link. I want to say I'm a huge fan of your guys' news. Also, I'm so glad I, Link got rid of his old haircut. It, it, it was weird. <laughs> Okay. Um, yep, we take feedback on our voicemail. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, a, I, and that was a compliment. I'm, I'm glad to be who I am at all stages of my life. No regrets, man. I love this look on on you guys. This yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. ketchup mustard from the '90s, like early '90s. Yeah. Look. Yep, yep, yep. It's ketchup um, and mustard. That's us, ya boys. It's like two guys that like want to hang out with the Mario Brothers. But they I mean, don't. But they don't let them. Button this up. I could be like April Old Neil, Old Neil, Old Neil. Um. So Old I Neil. have some quotes from film critics about okay. films, yeah. and I'm going yeah. to leave the film out. You're going to guess what the film is. And it. Okay. I just don't know much about what, films. <laughs> yeah. It's it's not going to be a good one for you. I don't think. Um. I was just a little story to start. That'll probably bomb now that I started it. Um, walking around my neighborhood as I do and, uh, met a couple walking their dog and, okay. um, the woman, uh, was like, I'm also in, in media. Yep. Cause I think Cassie had, had previewed. In media. In media. Yeah. I think it's like, b basically when Cassie says what I do, people of a certain age are like, ah, oh, that makes no sense. I'm to a media. librarian as well. You know, yeah, media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Media. Yes. Um, and she was a uh, a film critic, and my I have to say my my like first thought was like, oh, you're you're probably really mean. <laughs> you probably break a lot of hearts. <laughs> yeah. You know. Oh yeah. Wouldn't that man. be your? Did you say that? No. What I did you say? say? No. That's like exactly Where does this what story I do go? in media. We both we both do the same thing in media. As well oh I, man, yeah, it's thought. tough. It's a tough. It's a tough thing. It's I guess it's a necessary thing, but it's like. Did, they, they don't did get she to like say, say like, like, oh, you can read me here, or? Uh, she did, and I'm just protecting um, where she works because oh. I don't want okay. people to make So it was like a legitimate venue. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. for sure. Okay, well, we'll talk later. Yeah. Um, okay, here's the first one. <laughs> Blank is being marketed as a date movie. I think it's more of a first date movie. If your date likes it, do not take, do not date that person again. And if you like it, yeah. there may not be a second date. This is Roger Ebert. You may have heard of him. That's not who was in my neighborhood. <laughs> or uh, uh, Chicago dang, this sometimes. Is, this is harsh. Yeah, that would be weird. So this, I mean, this was when Roger Ebert. A date was a, movie was that alive. sucks. There's not a lot of information here. I don't know how old this. Oh. You do in a sense. Is it? Is it one? One of the, is it just one, one of them still around? One of them's not. Well, I'm it, gonna give you options. Oh, oh great. Uh, but I just wanted to see if it just came to you. Um, I was gonna say like that Valentine's Day movie with all the who everybody was in it, but I think that's after his time. I Are you freaking kidding me? What? That's the answer. That's oh. the answer. Yeah. How on earth? Like I literally, I looked at this list for this entire game, and I turned to Matt and I said, "What is this movie? This is the one movie I don't know." What? What is? And it's Valentine's Day. It? Yeah, it's Valentine's Day. A movie. Well, what do you know about Valentine's from Day? From 2010. Yeah. <laughs> starring everyone in the world. Yeah, yeah, that's why it was notoriously panned. Uh, it had all these giant stars in it. Like cr a crazy, like a Jamie ridiculous Fox, amount of Julia stars. Julia Roberts, Ashton Kutcher, Patrick Dempsey, uh, Taylor Swift. Yeah. Jamie Foxx, did you say that already? The werewolf from Twilight. And Link, you had mentioned that um, one was still around. Ro uh, Ebert and Siskel and Ebert, they're both. They're both gone. Uh, giving two thumbs up in heaven right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Critic heaven. Critic heaven. Uh, Bradley Cooper. Good. Wow. Wow, oh, that was impressive. Queen Latifah I mean, was impressed. In it. I mean, even all it was was like movie. a panned date movie. Yeah, I just From was like any time period. I just remember people talking Robert so much Ebert crap about it. And then the same. Uh, didn't um, did Penny Marshall direct that? Gary. Gary Marshall. <laughs> okay, so I know everything about this movie. And 
Oh, Gary. And so, and then Gary did a, they did a second one that was about another holiday that was equally as bad. Yeah, he did all the, he did a bunch of holidays. What is it? New Year's, New Year's Eve. Eve. yeah. Oh. Okay, let's see if you can get this one without any options. I've had mosquito bites that were more passionate than this undead, unrequited, and altogether unfun pseudo-romantic riff on Romeo and Juliet. I, I don't know this. Mark Solov? From the Austin Chronicle. Oh, there we go. That's why. <laughs> Unfun, pseudo romantic riff on Romeo and Juliet. Pseudo romantic riff. Hmm. Well, I don't remember. So, if it's a riff on Romeo and Juliet, so like forbidden love. Um, maybe it's. Just, but what if it was just Romeo and Juliet, the updated version? That would be too easy. And that was not a bad movie. The one with, what's her name in it? Claire Danes. Claire Danes. Claire Danes. That was not a bad movie. I liked that movie. It was good. What was the what was the Romeo and Juliet movie where they were like singing and it was in modern times? Is that the one with Claire Danes? No, Claire Danes is not a musical. <laughs> no. Yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio was in it. That's the Claire. That's the Claire Danes. But was that set in modern? What was the modern day Romeo and Juliet like? That, it was, that is, it's the same. It's yeah. Okay. It's the same one. Uh, Do you want options? Yeah, I think we're going to need options. Okay. Well, one of them is Romeo and Juliet from 1996. Well, that was my answer. Twilight. Didn't freak out. West Side Story, or Titanic. Oh. It's Twilight. It's got to be Twilight, <laughs> which is kind of laughable. I did watch it for the laughs, and I did laugh. It's Forbidden Love, Twilight. That's it. Case closed. Yeah, that's Got to be it. Um, I, I enjoyed watching you, you, Twilight. You've, you've seen the Twilight when series. I watched, no, I watched the first one. The first one. With, with, a, with a friend of mine who really liked them. Yeah. I, I, was, I remember when that was about to happen. I was like, y'all have fun. <laughs> yeah. It yeah, it was it was uh it was a lot more like low budget than I expected it to be. The effects are bad. Is that yeah. what you mean? Yeah. I think it the writing it was, was bad too. I think it the was acting was also bad. bad. Like all the aspects of it were kind of bad. Which it, made me enjoy it. It makes it good. Yeah. Twilight budget, thirty seven million. Yeah, it's a small low budget. Budget. That's pretty low small. budget for that movie small that big. Little thirty seven million. Which Adam Sandler, Sandler film <laughs> is this review referring to? Adam Sandler has succumbed to the Eddie Murphy syndrome. He's afflicted with the belief that we can't get enough of him. <laughs> All right, so this is obviously this is obviously after his sort of '90s thing. This is uh, this is 2000s. This is Lil Dicky. Uh, Lil Nicky. Lil Nicky. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. It, that, um, this is in the Lil Nicky era. Because it can't be... Now, for, let me tell you right now, I had a friend who I, who I respect and love uh, tell me that I needed to watch that... He has really good taste, that too. Ha that, Hall that Halloween movie that Adam Sandler made two years ago on Netflix. Yeah. Hubie Halloween. Hubie Halloween? Hubie. Hubie. It was unwatchable. Yeah. But he I mean, likes like, Adam Sandler. It was unwatchable. So it might also be Hubie Halloween. You've named things on the options, but you've not... Um, what was not after on. the golf one? Happy Madison. He was on this roll. It was amazing. That was know? all great. Those worked. If, if you Water were, Boy. If you were in the 90s. And then after, after that, before Lil Dicky, Nicky <laughs> happened, something... Big Daddy... He, what happened is that he- Remote. Remote control. Oh, fast forward. Click. Rewind. Click. Click. <laughs> <laughs> Click. That's it. Click. He, he had a remote control. <laughs> he could control- Menu. Guide. <laughs> is that it? Seven. No. Uh, the options that you have Is it the one that he went on vacation? Could be it are Jack and Jill or Grown Ups 2. It's not the water boy. Uh, grown ups two. Grown, grown ups two. 
It's Jack and Jill. Oh. <laughs> what is Jack and Jill? Now, Adam Who's Sandler has done well. I really liked that, uh, the one that the Crazy Brothers made recently that had what's her name in it, Julia, what's her name? Oh, she, he is Jill and Jack. <laughs> oh, and that's the Eddie Murphy of it all. Yep, yep. What? His sister is coming for a visit and it ain't pretty. I can't hear you because Link's talking. Well, you know what? Uncut Gems, yeah. Uncut Gems was great. Adam Sandler and then Punch Drunk Love. He's done these, he'll, he'll go off of his Sandlerness and then make great movies. He's a good actor when he wants to be. And he's a great basketball player. His fashion is sense Twinkie is... Twinkie Pinkies was giving you the, the Julia Fox version and that's when you kind of understand what he was saying. Yeah, he kept saying, Uncut Gems! Uncut Gems! Uncut Gems! It's like, what? I can't even hear your Jams. joke. That's a good movie. Um, okay, next one. Have you seen that movie? The film no, could have turned out her. worse, but only via the addition of a Tom Green cameo or an accident in which the actors caught on fire <laughs> from Keith Phipps, the AV Club. Well, now, at this point, we've so named, Tom Green we've named a make lot a of cameo, movies. And no one what did catch on fire. I just want to clarify. Yeah. There's no, no information here, then. I think the Tom Green... Like, gives you a time period. Late 90s? Okay. Could have turned early out 2000s. Worse. Yeah, probably. Oh, but only via the addition of a Tom Green cameo. I'll give you um, options. Yeah. Needed. Showgirls, Catwoman, Wild Wild West, Shallow Howl. I think Tom Green would, like, well, yeah. It's a weird thing to... I think the only Catwoman is the only thing that makes sense to me because I'm, Shallow How I think is my guess. Yeah, it is. It's definitely my guess. We both made our guesses. And I guess we're, I both, guess we're wrong. both wrong. So now I'm going to guess Wild Wild, Wild West. West. I didn't. I didn't hear one of. Oh, these. I said Catwoman. It's Catwoman. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Catwoman. I haven't seen any of these movies. Uh, well, I guess that's a good Shallow thing. Shallow How. Uh, that's Jack Black and Gwyneth Paltrow, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember much about it other than the concept. <laughs> yeah. Well, Wild West is a time time piece. Yeah, I don't know. I want to invite you to check out my podcast with my dad. It's actually my dad's podcast with me. Mm. Uh, if you haven't listened to it, I have fun doing it. I think you'd have fun listening to it. It's called Dispatches from Myrtle Beach because my dad lives in Myrtle Beach. And he dispatches his news to me. And he also reads anything that you email him mm -hmm. at uh, ratherbshaggin53 at aol.com. That's his email address. Lots of times it's jokes. Um, we've never gotten in an argument. Ever. Never. Huh. We always get along. Keep making that podcast. 30 See minutes every Thursday. Available wherever you get your podcast. Check it out. Me and my dad, we have fun. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of him. He's a good boy. <laughs> okay, wow. Well. Okay. Staggering into the silence of the theater lobby after the ordeal was over, I found a big poster that was fresh off the presses with the quotes of junket blurbsters. It will suck the air right out of your lungs, vows Diane Kaminsky. If it does, consider it a mercy killing. Ooh. Roger Ebert. <laughs> Ooh. So is this a horror movie? Because they're talking about killings and staggering into the silence. It just seems like that's the tone. Yeah, you're in the right It'll area. It'll suck the air right out of your lungs. It's not like Final Destination or something. Though. I mean, I don't really like this the, is Roger that, that style, but like. I'll give are, you some um, those are not bad movies. options. Ultraviolet, Armageddon, uh, 2012. <laughs> Or Taken? Uh, 2012. Have you seen any of these? Taken. Well, I've seen Armageddon. I will find you. That's Taken. It's a Liam, it's a Liam Neeson. I get, I, or is I that Last of the Mohicans? <laughs> oh, no. That's Last of the Mohicans. Liam Neeson. I don't know if I've actually ever seen Taken, but I feel like I know exactly what happens in it. Right, because people always say whatever the line is from Taken. 
Well, there, he's done like I will find twelve you. movies that are exactly the same. Um, twenty twelve was panned. I know that 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 was that was like a disaster movie. And I'd never. I don't know what Ultraviolet is. I'm going with twenty twelve. Armageddon, did they say Armageddon was a bad movie? I don't, I mean, I don't think so. I don't think that Roger Ebert would have said that it was, was one that of the, bad That was time. one of the two Meteor movies, right? Armageddon was uh, Bruce Willis, right? Yeah, that was a good, that was, I mean, it was what it was, but it was good for what it was. It was better than the- It was uh, a great theater the, movie. The, than the Robert Duvall asteroid movie, which came out like the same year. Not yeah. according to Roger, because it's Armageddon. He didn't like Armageddon. Armageddon. What is Armageddon Not on Rotten like Tomatoes it. these days? Let's look, look at that. Get that up. The often, and then I want to. I want to see. I admit. Oh wow. Oh, what is it? It's thirty-seven percent. Thirty-seven percent. Now go back to the taken speech that's often misquoted, because I want to see. Right down there. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will. I will find you and I will kill you. Are you thinking of? I have a very particular set of skills. No. 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 Yeah. 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 It this says, is it. It's from that speech. If you let my daughter go now, that will be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you, and I will kill you. I don't know who you are, I don't know what you want. If you are looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. That is what you're saying. So yes. <laughs> so this, the, you're, yeah, it's the preamble to what you've already read. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. I thought you were talking about Princess Bride. <laughs> skills that make me a yeah, nightmare this is for Gary people Marshall, like right? you. <laughs> Check out my podcast with my dad, Dispatches from Myrtle Beach, new episodes every Thursday. It's a half hour wherever you get your podcast.